some errands. I am going to the grocery. I'm going to buy some fresh flowers. Then I'm also going to buy some bedding plants because look at the deer. See the deer behind me? Where'd he go? He's right here. Let's hold on one second. I'm going to back it up because they're not afraid and I don't have a car coming. We have so many deer in our neighborhood. Look at him. Now, now, between the deer and let me turn the radio down because uh, YouTube doesn't like the radio being on. I do, but they don't. But anyway, we saw we saw a deer first thing. That's cute, and it looked like he had a broken antler. I may have to go back and look at that video and see something has happened to him. But it is not raining today. Not raining yet. It is rainy season. However, this year we have. Let me get past this rocky road, and I'll tell you. This year we have um, the Sahara dust, and that's not uncommon. We've had it several years, but I believe this year they say it's thicker than usual, and there's a good and a bad to that. The dust comes off of the African coast and comes across the Atlantic, and it keeps hurricanes from forming, which is fabulous but it also keeps it from raining <laughs> so we need the rain because all of us are having to water our flowers more often and that's not a good thing if we can get natural rainwater things always seem to grow better that way so now i'm going to get some more flowers because i have lost some of my fresh flowers i have lost some of my flowers while i was out of town and I need to replant those and I need to go to the grocery and I really really want to get my nails done so that's where we're going right this moment it's not a far drive so we won't be long I just got a call from my husband and he wants to go look for furniture today we're looking for a couple pieces for the house so sometime today I'm going to take you furniture shopping but right now, I am going to the grocery to get the ingredients for chicken piccata because we're going to make chicken piccata for dinner. I don't think I've made this for you in the past, and I'll put the recipe down below for you. But it was originally a Rachel Ray recipe, and uh, I've kind of modified it just a bit for our taste. We are at the grocery. Let me see if I can find my grocery list. I had two. One I had made a couple days ago, and then a second one, since I lost the first one, I started a second list, which is um, maybe lost again. I may have left that one at home. Oh, I think I know where it is. It may be in this bag I have. And I always keep a second bag behind the seat. Phone. I was almost forgot that. I'm really scatterbrained since I got back home because I have so much to catch up on. I don't seem to have enough hours in the day to get everything done. So every day I make a list of things to do and then I usually get about 90% of the way through that list and then add the other 10% to the next day's list. And hopefully in the next few days, I'm going to be caught up. I finally got all the laundry done, which is amazing. Okay, we are ready to go in the grocery now, and I'll be right back. So we have bought everything we need, I think, including things I didn't need, like more basil. Can't have enough basil growing because I use that on everything except this chicken piccata. And so let's go. Now we are going to go home and put these things away and then we'll check that off the list and go on to what's next. We're either going furniture shopping or I'm going to go get my nails done. Depends. I'll see what's going on when I get home. I will meet my husband for furniture shopping when he is available. So 
today's video is a little bit of a mishmash. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything and hopefully we'll get everything done today. If not, then it's going to go on the list for another day. Next stop is nails. I have been needing my nails done for a while now and thank goodness I'm here. But um, hey, what do you think about these sunglasses? These are becoming one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. Look at that. It's kind of a light purple color. I bought them for the beach and the pool area, but my goodness, I think I love these. I, that sneaky Amazon made me put them in my cart, and they're very inexpensive. And I think they come in several colors. So I'm going to check those out again. And I'm going to link them below for you. Because they're great for the beach. And they're almost disposable. They're so inexpensive. I'm trying to see if there is a name on these. No. But I'll find it for you. And I'm going to link it below. But right now I'm going in to get my nails done. Okay. That only took about an hour and a half. So that's not too bad. But um, I got the same color, but I don't know why. Sometimes when I get the same color, this is Funny Bunny, OPI Funny Bunny. When I get the same color, sometimes it's whiter than other times. I should have shown it to you before I had them done so you could see what's going on. And that's the color. And I love the shape. That's the shape I usually use. So that is done. Now it's shopping time. There they are. I was afraid I had left them inside. But so now boys shopping for furniture, looking for two pieces of furniture. I'm finding sort of what I want, but not exactly. But I don't even know if these things exist. I get these ideas in my head of exactly what I want, and then they're not out there. Unless I go online sometimes and find a picture and have things made. If I'm buying a piece of furniture that's a poster, I can do that because I can find the exact fabric I want and the frame of the furniture I want. But this is not a poster furniture. And you'll see whenever I find it what it is. I don't want to tell you right now because I may it may be another year or two before I find it. I have been looking for quite a while, it may be six months or so. But anyway, I am on my way. Let's go shopping.
am back home now. I went to the grocery and I had a few minutes to come home and put the chicken in the refrigerator and I did that. And then I, while I was at the grocery though, look what I bought. Some beautiful, colorful flowers and I'm gonna make an arrangement and put that on the lanai because most of my plants died while I was gone and I want some color out there and I bought the basil to replace the basil that didn't make it while I was gone as well. But I got the nails done, I'm back home, we're going to make this arrangement and then I think I'm going to switch gears and make dinner and call it a day. So let's get started on the arrangement because it's not going to be a large one. I have these hand-thrown pieces of pottery. See that with the little wells in it for flowers and water? Well, I love these and I know they're going to be hard to find because these are handmade, but I'll try to find one of these for you or similar to these for you. This one I love as well, but I think it's going to be too small. I'm hoping to get two arrangements out of these flowers. I don't know if I'm going to have enough flowers for it though, but this one is so unique. It looks like paper or maybe a burlap bag or something that you have wrapped around your flowers. Love, love, love that. I don't know if I'm going to find this at all, but I am absolutely going to look for some of these for you. And I've had these for years, and they're perfect for making small arrangements. So I'm going to get started on that and see how far I get. Maybe I'll get two arrangements out of one bundle of flowers. Yes, I got two arrangements out of that small bundle of flowers, but I really had to stretch it to make this arrangement because I didn't have enough flowers. I'm going to move this purple one around so you can see it better. I did not actually have enough flowers, but I was able to just add some greenery in there. And it's just a mishmash of the flowers, leftover flowers. And this is a mixture of all of the flowers that were in the bundle. And really, you can't see the rose as well as I wanted it to. Let's move the rose right here, maybe. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's put the rose there and move this greenery. So, yes, I will rearrange this a hundred times but we have two arrangements and there's one and there is two so now my outdoor patio will look much brighter and very cheerful i love this let's go out there and place these on some tables so i heard some thunder let's look out the window it's a bit cloudy but that doesn't mean anything because this time of year it can rain off and on just really close together spotty rain showers and we'll hear the thunder from our neighboring shower and we don't ever see the rain so we're going to go outside and place these on the patio okay let's put this one here that looks pretty i like that Nice and colorful. Love it. Brightens the entire day. And this one let's put here on the outdoor kitchen. How about that? That looks really nice. We can scoot this back just a tiny bit. Loving that. It is brightening up that entire area. Great. Now, Let's go in and make our chicken. We're gonna make chicken piccata. Cannot wait. Let's begin by thinly slicing two lemons and then set those aside because you will need those later. In a separate dish, add one cup of flour, 
some salt and pepper and you're going to use this for dredging your chicken. Using a large skillet, add four or five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and preheat to a medium temperature. Dredge four boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the seasoned flour. Be sure to shake off the excess flour from the chicken breast before you place it in the skillet. Brown the chicken on both sides and add more olive oil if you find it necessary. This for your cooked chicken to a waiting platter and you can begin making your lemon butter sauce. Add four tablespoons of butter, which is a half of a stick, to the remaining chicken drippings. Deglaze your pan with a half a cup of dry white wine. Add the lemon slices and lightly brown. Add four cloves of finely chopped garlic or garlic paste and stir for one minute. While your lemons are simmering, begin cooking your favorite pasta. In this case, it's bow tie pasta. Now let's add three tablespoons of capers and a quarter of a cup of finely chopped parsley. Return the chicken to the pan and combine it with the butter and lemon sauce. Top the pasta with your chicken piccata. So delicious. So that recipe is absolutely divine. Mwah! Chef's kiss. I will make a list of all the ingredients and put the recipe below so you can take a screenshot of it and you can print it off and put it in your cookbook. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe and the video. It's just so nice to be back and doing some fun things around the house and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you're not a subscriber tap that subscribe button and you can always follow me on Instagram. Bye!